Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. We have, I do believe, it's our mill and yarns. Let me take a pixie at the box. Warehouse, Hirschner's. It's a pretty big box, so I'm assuming it's my mill yarn ends. I want to show you my new coffee cup. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> All right. Let's get into this box and see what we have. Okie dokie. I've never had, never ordered mill ends before. I got the idea from Crystal bag a day, like a grab bag, don't know what you're going to get, give me some little catalogs here, okay, we got one pound of white, it's very soft, I'm assuming it's acrylic, I don't know. Very soft. Okay. Ooh, this one has a label. Yellow. Uh, lemon. 100% acrylic. Pretty yellow. Ooh. This is nice. This is actually what I've been wanting. A nice heather gray. Look at that. That's a big one pounder of heather gray. That's awesome. Nice. My daughter likes the combination of heather gray and uh, coral together. Those were a nice combination. Um, I made her a blanket. And looky looky. <laughs> kind of a coral, right? Look, the yarn I made her a blanket with was called Heather Gray and Flamingo. This is kind of a more of a rust color. That's pretty. Now, I got one. Kind of a small one here. Another small one. Another big one. And all together, it equals a pound. Still a pound of the rust color. Another heavy gray. Big old pounders. Now that I know different stitches, this feels like acrylic. Oh, that has a little bit of white through it, too. Look at that. Does the other one have that? No. Okay, so these are different. This is heather gray, and this is heather gray with some white through it. I like that. It's almost like a tweed. Um... When I first started crocheting about a year ago, I started with scarves that kind of went. <laughs> so I had to practice, 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 get my ends straight. Then um, I made a few blankets. Not great, but, you know, single crochet. Now I know different patterns, different stitches. So now it's going to be fun for me to redo some blankets for my family now that I know what I'm doing. Um... I love the shell stitch. Um, the star stitch is beautiful, but I think that's a little advanced for me. Um, the combo stitch is my favorite. Love the combo stitch. So easy. You do a single, a double crochet. No, a single, a half double crochet, then a double crochet. Skip two, repeat. And it comes out so pretty and it's so easy. That's my favorite. Okay, one more. One pound of the rust. These all look about the same size. So I have a lot. I think I'm going to make my daughter a prettier blanket. A uh, nicer version of the one I initially gave her. <laughs> this one will be, I'll do it in the combo stitch and I'll make a pretty border. 
the first blankets I gave out, single crochet, no border. I was so proud of myself. And now I look back, I'm like, ah, oh, this is terrible. So, you know, I consider myself now an intermediate. I would love to be um, on Wanda's level, Crystal's level. Uh, yeah, those <laughs> inspirations for the future. I'm talking about Crystal from Bag o Day and Wanda from Rolling with Life. Okay, this. Hmm. What do you think? Cream? L the lightest tan or a cream? Bone, maybe? I think it's more of a light tan. Camel? I don't know. Nice color for, um. A border it pretty much would go with anything so that's it so we got this one pound we got two pounds in total of the rust big pound of the white this is really soft I don't think this is acrylic it's softer than acrylic bamboo maybe this is a combination of something it's not cotton I like it. It's very soft. Uh, the yellow, the lemon, I don't... This doesn't look like a pound. What does it say? For 359 yards, 200 grams, 7 ounces, 100% acrylic. Okay. Now, see, the thing with the uh, mill ends is you might get something like this. And that's fine with me. Yarn is yarn is yarn. I know Crystal was giving away a big, huge box of her um, scraps. And did anybody win that yet? Did she announce a winner for that? Do, do you know? I couldn't find a winner for that. And a lot of the scraps looked like this. Or they were just nice full skeins, or they had actually part of something that she had started and then just didn't finish. So whoever gets that is going to have some of Crystal's actual work with it, which I think that's really cool. I would love to win that box. I don't think she's announced a winner yet. So that is that. Oh, and let's not forget the two gray. I think I like this one a little bit better with the white going through it but nice. And gray is another color that pretty much goes with absolutely anything. So, that is my Mill Ends yarn haul from Hirschner's. And I'm very, very pleased with it. So, um, yeah, I'm very pleased with them. I've heard some people have gotten uh, the ends and they weren't happy. I don't think it was from this company. It was a different company. But this company, I'm happy. And I will definitely be ordering from them again. Have a wonderful day, everyone.